Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mary and currently I am pregnant with our second baby girl. In this video I want to share with you with my top 5 baby essential products I wish I had with my first daughter back then being first time pregnant, first time mama. I was so busy purchasing this baby basic essential things like a baby crib, stroller, a car seat adapter, changing table, stuff like that. I did not really think about products which may make my everyday life easier and with the time and experience as a mom and of course from other YouTube mamas, I got to know that some products work better than the others or I discovered other like new products for me I never knew before. So I'm really glad to share them in this video and just to put out there, newborns do not need any of this. This is just for us mamas to make our lives easier. The only thing your newborn is going to need is just full tummy, clean diaper and your love and cuddles and nothing else, trust me. And also as a disclaimer, I want to say this video is not sponsored and I wasn't sent any of these products. I purchased all of them myself. So I will try to leave the links down below in my in description box in case you are interested to check them out. And also I would love to know the products that changed your life, especially if you're a second, third, fourth, fifth time mama, if you have any suggestions for me to make my everyday life easier with the baby, since this is going to be my second child, I can't give 100% of myself and my attention to this baby. I also have a four year old who is gonna need me so I would love to know your suggestions. Just leave them down below in the comment section. And with this being said, let's jump into this video. So let me start from the carrier. When I was pregnant with my daughter, I went to the store and I asked the shop assistant to give me advice uh, on a carrier because I knew nothing about them. And the shop assistant advised me this carrier from Ergo Baby, which I truly love till today. I love the design, I love how comfortable it is, I love how much support it gave uh, my baby and I love, uh, loved how it felt on me, like I felt so secure and comfortable to walk with my daughter in this carrier and also they advised me to get uh, this uh, part here, it's a pillow again from a Ergo Baby and this is for newborns from 3 to 5 kilos they basically advise you to put the newborn into this pillow and then replace the baby into the carrier for better support for their neck and their head. The only thing was my daughter hated it. I was so looking forward to carry her around because she was also a baby who never let me put her down. She hated laying down. She just wanted to be carried around, but she also hated to be in this carrier when she was a baby. So I was able to use this carrier when she was, I think, six months old and then older. And later on, of course, with an experience with getting to know tons of other new mamas and talking to my hebama and stuff, I discovered that newborns actually like or prefer slings better. So this time around, I bought my daughter a sling let me show you on the box because you can see it better it's just like the sling looks like this you know you can't see really how it looks like i purchased this from from manduka i did a ton of research and basically what i learned it does not matter from which brand you choose they all are just as good of course there are some that are easier i think to adjust on yourself but i did not really find them in germany or maybe I did not do enough research. I just knew that Manduka is a really good one and Germans prefer this brand as well. And I just went for a color and because it was on the sale, I purchased it. The only thing is now I need to figure out how I'm going to wrap myself up uh, with this, but they also have an instruction and I think I can find it in YouTube, how to carry your baby in the sling. And I'm really, really relying on this. I have heard from all the mamas that I know their babies loved the sling more than, than carrier. So I'm really relying on this thing because I do think my next baby is gonna want me to carry her around as well. And I'm also a mama who loves to have her baby as near as possible. So we're gonna see, I'm going to give it a try, but I have to tell you guys, I wish I knew about this before because I'm sure Audrey 
would love this as well. I just did not know that. I thought carrier is a carrier. If it's a sling, it's a normal carrier, it's just the same, but obviously it's not the same. So the next thing that I purchased for my daughter this time is a swaddler. It looks like this. I have three of them. I showed you in my hospital bag as well. The two of them is, are in my hospital bag. Uh, and I did not have any swaddler with Autry because I think they, I thought back then babies do not need to be swaddled. I thought that is like a culture coming from East Europe, like Armenia, we have this swaddling culture. And I thought in the modern world, babies do not have to be swaddled. I don't know why I had that opinion, but when Audrey came along, uh, I found out that swaddling is essential for a baby. But of course I found out about that when she was already three months old. So it made no point already to buy, it made no sense to buy a swaddler. And this time around, you guys, I really hope this thing is gonna do the magic and let my baby sleep in peace and quiet. And I got this one from Amazon, like it's so easy to adjust. You just put your baby into it and then wrap it and clip it and that's it. You know, your baby is good to go. I also have swaddled blankets. So uh, like a really normal one, I bought them from TK Maxx. They're very elastic, stretchable. So I can swaddle the baby in them as well. But when the baby arrives, I will see uh, how it works. And if she turns out to loving them, I may repurchase them again. Like I, I may end up buying more. I just have like three normal ones, three, three of these and four of these. And I do hope this is going to be enough for her. But I really hope she's going to sleep with this. Because with Audrey, I had a screaming baby. I could not put her down. And I don't really remember the first one and a half years of Audrey's life, like of my life as being first time mama because I never got my sleep. The next thing that I learned from my YouTube mamas, I saw this in YouTube all the time. I don't remember seeing this product in anywhere back when I was pregnant with Audrey and I don't remember seeing this product from my other mama friends that I have is this nest. So I know that America, I saw that in, this in American YouTube and most of them have the one from Duckatot, if I'm not mistaken, most of the mamas, they swear with Duckatot. So now I looked in Amazon and I found out that there are tons of nests here, but not from Duckatot because I live in Germany. So I purchased this one. This is a regular simple one. It had really good reviews. It's a cotton and really soft and fluffy. And the reason why I got this is that uh, I am planning probably a C-section. We, we are going to see that my baby's bridge. I told you in my last video, I may end up going through a C-section and I know that I'm not gonna be able to carry the baby. So I wanted uh, like something like this so I can have her next to me on the couch or next to me in my bed uh, you know and I think this is a perfect way to uh, move her around so I don't have to just stay next to her crib you know what I mean it, it's gonna make my life so much easier to have the baby next to me safe and secure in this thing she's not gonna roll out of it and I think it, it, it feels comfortable so I really hope she's gonna like this and that way I'm gonna avoid some complications in case I get c-section do you have to have it no but you can have it so the next thing I learned from my American YouTube mamas is the white noise machines I did not know about this back when Audrey came along and Audrey was a baby who never slept she did not like to sleep the only way she slept was on me and I did not know that white noise may help babies to fall asleep or sleep deeper than normally they do so this time around i got this machine and i am really really hoping this is go going to do the magic with my daughter and <clears throat> uh, this thing does not only have white noise but it also makes like wind noises ocean crackling fire it has lullabies thunder noise rain um, stream uh, it has a timer of course you can adjust the volume as you want and I really really hope this is going to do the magic and my baby is going to sleep better 
then all three we are going to see about that i'm really really looking forward to use this one something that i did not know and thank you youtube for this and the last product that i want to show you is my new baby phone it does not mean i did not have one before i did have a baby phone but i had like a simple baby phone without a monitor and back then we were living in a smaller apartment so i really did not need any monitor or something and audrey was anyways all the time next to me and this time as we are in a bigger place i decided to purchase a baby monitor a baby phone with a monitor and uh, this time around i am more worried i think uh, for my baby than the first time because when you are a first time mama and everything went smoothly you are not really aware of the dangers that may happen during the sleep and since i also joined social media the last years i got to know so many stories that happened and it gives me some anxiety and um, i thought having a phone with a monitor where i can just look if the baby is doing fine or not is going to help my anxiety personally do you have to have it i don't think you you have to have it you can just have the simple one of course there are like more fancy ones with an alarm or stuff like that but i decided to avoid that because i read in the reviews a lot that the alarm may go on from a small thing you know and then that scares the baby and you of course when the alarm goes on it does not really have to be mean that something is wrong the alarm is just like too sensitive and i decided not to go too crazy and just have a monitor i think i'm gonna be fine if i see that my anxiety is not getting better i still can buy a baby phone with these alarm sensors as well and a monitor but i think this is going to do the trick so you guys these were the five products i wanted to talk in this video and i really hope you found this video informative and useful for you i am planning to make another video with the baby essential this basic essential product like the creep cost slipper and stuff like that and of course the organization of my changing table i just have to install some of them and i have to do a couple of things that i haven't done yet so stay tuned for those videos and uh, please let me know in the comment section which are your essentials i am really looking forward for new products that can make the things here easier on me thank you so so much for watching this video through and i really hope you enjoyed it and liked it so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell become a part of my community and i will see you in my next videos bye